Hey everyone, sorry it's been so long. I haven't put a video out in a while. It's, uh, life's been crazy. I've been traveling a lot for work, and it's also been really cold here in Austin. We had several weeks where it only got up in the 40s, and we don't have any insulation in the garage. Uh, last time I left you off, I had just finished putting this fiberglass tip on. You can see the uh, the metal rib down here. These two Clecos are just for holding it, and then I ended up putting those three. Um, what do you call it? Uh, Cleat goes in with those three holes right there. Um, I'm not going to drill into uh, the fiberglass yet until I have it completely uh, sized with the other one over here because it has to be 70 inches plus a quarter inch on each side for clearance with the elevator. Uh, but now I'm going to put this one on and um, starting to work on that. So I'm going to start drilling out these holes right here. All right, I went ahead and drilled out those six rivets, and uh, it always leaves a mess on the inside with all the little drill bit uh, filings and such. So I'm going to go through and clean those up, and then uh, put on the next section. All right, I had the uh, right fiberglass tip on, and I went ahead and made my own handles with the Clecos here. And here is the existing portion of the, uh, the rib. And now I'm going to use those as guide holes to drill the three pieces in here and then go from there. I got the first hole drilled, but I'm a little bit concerned about the height of this side versus this side. So what I'm going to do, because um, the width is fine, but I need to figure out if the height is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my tail, or excuse me, the elevators, and um, click with them together with a makeshift uh, rod to hold them all up, and then verify that it's proper. And then I will make my um, holes based on uh, pressures put into here to make sure it's the exact same height. And then I'll go ahead and take the tail off and then go and drill it and finish up the tips. Uh, here we go. I got out my bench grinder and started, uh, I took my four foot rod, I, I had one extra anyway because I uh, ruined a hinge, and I ground this uh, just spinning in circles until it broke through and I have 45 degree angles and I kind of ground them to make sure they were smooth. So now I have my elevators out, I'm going to make uh, the pins go through just to, to see how it looks with the uh, making sure it fits properly. And I took the um, extra Clecos out of each side, sorry about the camera, uh, so that way I could fit them all in. And I'll go from there, thanks. After getting all ready, I just realized that um, I haven't cut this fiberglass yet. It's building this airplane is kind of like a chicken and egg type of process. Which one do you do first? So I'm gonna have to think about what to do from here. Uh, but I just realized I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna continue uh, working on it at a different time, but thanks for watching and, and uh, thanks for staying tuned.